Hi everyone, um, today's art journal prompt, this is week four, um, today's prompt is life is. So whatever your take is on life is. Um, and if you put inspirational quotes um, and then in inverted commas, life is into a Google search, loads and loads and loads of ideas um, will come up for you. Um, I've decided to use this image here. This um, Earlier on this week, I was finishing off um, the first stage of my art journal prompts, junk journal, um, where I'm taking magazines, various magazines apart um, to store the images to to use not just for art journal prompts but for you know doing ATCs and, and that kind of thing it's just I find that when all of the images are in a magazine and um, because I've got so many of them I, I don't end up using them it's just too um, overwhelming to sort of search through a whole stack of, of magazines when I'm looking for ideas so I've decided this year um, that I'm going to go through my magazines one by one and, and take out all the images that um, that I feel that I can use um, for, for my art. And um, this week I've decided to use this one. And my life is, quote, is going to be, life is about using the whole box of crayons, which I thought was just absolutely perfect um, for, for this page. So to start off with, I've got my um, usual piece of um, De La Rowney mixed media paper and I've already started this. I've used this crafters, work, um, crafters Workshop stencil and I won't be able to line it up now but um, I've put it on something like that and then I've used um, a few water soluble um, pencil crayons. These are the Gallery um, brand. I've had these for years, in fact they were um, either Alex's or, or Sam's um, when, when they were at primary school. Um, I think, but you know they're great. They they do the do the job. Um, but what I want to do now is go and grab um, a water um, brush and just di dilute these to sort of make the um, colour stronger. Because I'm going to use this to form part of my background, and then I'm going to glue um, the pencil sharpening page out of the um, Daphne's Diary magazine on something like that. Right, I've got my water brush, and as I say, I'm just going to go over. Um, the pencil just to activate it just just like this and I'm just showing you the first one um, just so that you can see how it works but it just changes the the vibrancy um, of the the pencil crayon so I'm going to do this with all of the colors right so that's what I've got and I really like um, the kind of watery colory ness of, of that and then I'm tearing um, the top of um, the sheet here that um, that I'm using. Um, it just looks too clean and, and perfect, so I want more of a jaggedy line. It's not, because I want it right at the tip though, I'm not doing a very good job of um, tearing it, but because we've got all the rush, rough um, edges of the pencil shavings in the in the background, then I thought, you know, a torn edge would, would, would work really well. Um, so that will glue on something like that and then um, I'm going to use, let's have a look, we'll pick out one of the colours here, let's use some turquoise stays on it. I still haven't used the glue dots to glue um, my tops in, I can't remember who it was now that gave me that tip and I haven't done it. But again by doing this I just feel that it, it um, mixes in with the jaggedy edges, it ties in with the jaggedy edges of the pencil sharpenings. So. Let's just do that. And where the pages um, are torn, it soaks up the ink really well. So, right, let's put that on. And then I'm going to um, grab my glue gun, uh, not glue gun, um, glue stick. I'm using dry glue this time because um, I've used watercolour crayons. If I use matte medium um, or Mod Podge, it's just going to smear it all over the place. So I'm going to add some glue to the back of this. In fact, let's do it, do it now. Um, I want it more sort of on on this edge here. So I'm going to glue that down um, and then, well you don't need to see me gluing it, but I'm going to do that and then I'll then I'll come back. Right, so when I eventually glue my focal image down, it's going to go somewhere like that, but I want to add um, some of the brush um, stamp um, from my Gina Aaron stamp set that Gina, uh, that um, uh, Donna bought me for Christmas, um, just to fill in some of the gaps down here. So let's have a yeah, you see, I like that. And in fact, actually, I could have another one just there. And then I could maybe have some
like this too. Um, I'll have another one over here because I like it normally in threes. <coughs> Um, we could have yes I like that so um, let's let that dry and then I've got to decide what I what I want to do next now I'm trying to work out how I can blend this line together of course I've had to do something here um, because my piece um, of pencil sharpening page was too short for my journal page. So what I'm going to do is I've grabbed some modeling paste. So I'm just going to put um, a little bit, just in fact, that's probably too much. There we go, that should do it. Um, on my piece of parchment paper here. And then I've got some of the Dela Rowney, um, I never know how to pronounce this, Corellium Hue. And so I'm just going to, oh, got a great big, um, ring around that. So I'm just going to pour a little bit into the modelling paste and then I'm going to work that in so that now my modelling paste is a lovely bright blue. There we are. And then what shall I do first? I'm just going to add um, just a little bit of the modelling paste here. This is the Tim Holtz um, stencil. Um, I'm not sure what this is called actually. I'll have a look in a minute for you. Where's the packet that it was It was in? I'll find it in a second. There we go, so I like that. Um, let me just wipe this a second. In fact, I want to do it just on my page below. When you're using modelling paste or gesso or anything like that, make sure that you wipe your stencils straight away because you'll just ruin them if you if you don't. The gesso and modelling paste will just clog up the stencil. I shall take this to the sink in a second. Let me just tell you what. Schoolhouse layering stencil. There we are. And then I want a little bit more. Um, let's have a look just down here as well. So let's pick up some more. I'm not being too neat or perfect about about this. There we go, that's, um, that's great, that's fine. That's how I'm looking at the moment. And I added a little bit more um, stenciling with the modeling paste. I just added some in this corner here just to sort of balance it a, a bit more. I still didn't quite achieve the look that I was going for. And I'm toying with the idea of putting another paintbrush up here. But first of all, what I want to do before I glue this down um, is I'm taking my Stabilo All Pencil and I'm going to make an outline all around um, this pot, this cup, pot, whatever you want to call it, of, um, of crayons. Okay, so um, I've glued the image down um, and I've been around the whole of it with my Stablo All Pencil, so that stands out better now. I've also glued on my quote. Um, I am going to add another paintbrush in the top right-hand corner, so I'm just inking up my stamp pad now so let's just add that I just feel it needs something um, up there so that's that done and then to add some more texture and to solve the problem of the fact that the pot um, of crayons is floating in thin air I am going to add some if I can work out how to get the lid off that is this is my pencil shun oh it would help if I Right, this is going to make a humdinger of a mess. Let's see how I can... Oh, here we go. Needed emptying anyway. There we are. Right, okay, so let's screw the lid back on, on that. So that's ready for another time. And then I'm just going to add um, some of these pencil shaving, shavings and glue them onto the bottom of my page, um, like, like this. Right, I've got a few pencil shavings um, here. I've scooped the rest into the bin and um, I'm going to use glossy accents to glue this down. So let me just poke the end because nothing will come out otherwise. I've tried keeping this upside down. I've had all kinds of tips and nothing seems to work. So I'm just going to put a layer of glossy accents around the bottom like 
like this and let's glue some pencil shavings on in a few random places. This will dry clear so it's sort of ideal to use. Right, this is how I'm looking and um, I went and grabbed um, a smaller pencil sharpener. What have I just done with it? Um, here we go, this one here and my tin of crayons and I sort of had a look at the ones that um, that needed sharpening and I did a few of the longer pieces of pencil sharpening and then I've got a few bits and pieces um, here. So what I am going to do, I've done it on this side um, already, is I've put a little bit of um, glossy accents. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. And then let me just move that up slightly. Um, oh, I've just grabbed my put my finger in the paint and then I'm just dipping it into um, the little tiny bits of uh, pencil sharpenings there so I think that looks really cool let's try and get some on the on the end it's just easier to, to dip it in right I'm happy with that and then I've put some blue paint out on my parchment paper that stated me uncovered um, in paint and ink again and then what I'm going to do this time for my border I'm going to go around the outside with the same blue paint that I've used for my um, modelling paste so I'm just going to go around the edge um, like like this this sort of gives a nice raised bumpy texture as well which I really like so I'm going to continue going around this and then I'm pretty much this done. is such a fun page it's bright it's colorful I'm very happy um, with, with that um, and if I hadn't have gone through the exercise of searching through the Daphne's diary magazine this week um, then this would still be sat on a pile with the other magazines be behind me and um, for those of you who don't know I've um, started a, a little series um, there's no regularity to it it's just just as and when I find the time to do it um, but I'm creating a junk journal um, mainly for the Art Journal Prompts group. Um, this is it. It's not decorated yet. In fact, let me just move that one out of the way because it's probably, um, you can't see it. But I've been going through magazines. This um, week I went through Daphne's Diary and I've just been taking out um, the images from um, the magazines to be able to use in my journal pages because I don't know about anybody else but I find that um, if all the images stay in the magazine I've got so many of them it's too overwhelming to sort of you know dig through it when I'm trying to, to find something so I've just cut looked through it and taken out the images that I think I might be able to use in future journal pages and the box of um, the, the cup of crayons was um, the one that I decided to use for, for this week so if you're interested in doing something similar I'll leave the link to the videos um, in the description box below. Um, so that's it for this week. Week four, the prompt is Life Is, and I look forward to seeing what you do with this particular prompt. And if you like what I did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. And take care, everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.